the first thing you've got to set up is, well, what, how am I going to use t results? Okay, so I'm going to say, let t equal. Okay, now, it usually is 10 theta on 2. Usually, okay. First reason it's not 10 theta on 2 is because there are no thetas. <laughs> okay, so that's no use to you. Secondly, I'm not going to make it 10 excellent 2. I'm actually just going to say 10x. Here is why. Okay. If I've got 10 theta on 2, then I'm going to be dealing in 10 theta uh, cos theta sine theta. Right? This is the way we normally use t results. Okay. But if I just double all the angles, 10x. 10 2x cos 2x sine 2x. It's the same t result, it's just wearing different clothes. Okay? It's like the difference between solving a question like uh, 4 minus x squared equals 0 and 4 minus t squared equals 0. It's the same question, you're going to do it exactly the same way, but just the labels are different. Uh, yeah. So you can technically have infinite, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, if t equals 10x, therefore, I can say 10 2x will be equal to, and then I'm just going to quote the familiar t results that I know. For 10, it's 2t on 1 minus t squared, right? I could say sine 2x, but I'm not going to. Can anyone see why? At least not yet. There's no signs. There's no signs. Right? Maybe I'll need sign later, but there's nothing that tells me I need it now, so I'm not going to say it. Um, I will need cos though. Can you see why? Cos 7. So I'm going to write cos 2x. I'm going to write it the way I remember it, which is 1 minus t squared on 1 plus t squared. But then immediately I'm going to convert that into sec. Wait, so when you do these cos 2x tag 2x, basically the normal t form is just multiplied by 2. Uh, the angles have been multiplied by 2, yes. Uh, there, there, there. Does it affect the t formula? Like the actual, like the actual the 2t plus Yeah, that doesn't, right? Like, okay. no. so, so I could do like tan 500x and it would just be the same t. So what's the You'd say if t were tan 250x, then tan 500x is blah 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 blah. And it's exactly the same. So how, how exactly does that work? Because like, how does tan 2x equaling one thing and tan 500x equaling the same thing? Because you change the substitutions here, so you change them there. Right? So these ones come out of there. I mean, this is just an abbreviation of the original double angle tan results that we knew. Tan 2x is 2 tan x on 1 minus tan squared x, which is that. Just mm -hmm. I've, so, I've just given it a faster label to write. Uh, okay, that looks good. Now there's one more thing. I, I know what tan 2x is, I know what sec 2x is. What is this? Cos over sine. It's cos over sine, but a simple way of saying it, I mean, that's one of the definitions, is 1 over tan, and I have tan. So therefore that tells me that cot x is the reciprocal of tan. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Wait, wait. Why isn't it? Yeah, no, because you just you just flip it around. If you flip this, what do you get? One over ten. Which is cot. Mm -hmm. If you flip this, you get one over t. Mm -hmm. That's all it's saying. Okay. Now we're ready to do some substitution. Okay, so I'm going to go left hand side. Equals. Uh, two t on one minus t squared times one over t. What do you think? Have I just done the straight substitution? Is that it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 2 over. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, you could <coughs> for some reason. <coughs> oh, sorry. You could, but I know that I'm not going to get any advantage out of that because I look at all the other T results, they don't have anything factorized like that, so I'm leaving it. Right hand side. Equals 1 plus what? Plus 1 plus t squared minus t squared. Right there. What would you like me to do? Because you're going to have to just add them. So, so this 1, it's 1 minus t squared over 1 minus t squared. Yeah. Yes? So 1 minus t squared. 
Now remember, this is a show question, so even though you're like, oh, I see it, you still actually have to go, oh yeah, okay, 1 plus 1, that will be 2, t squared, 0. You with me? So that is the left hand side as required. So, how, how did you know that you should have brought it all the one under the same fraction? Uh, you mean from here to here? Yeah. Because when I did the left hand side, I got one fraction. Mm. Had I simplified out the left hand side and gotten something else, like say a square root, or, or, or two fractions or something like that, then whatever it is that I end up here, as simple as I can get, is where I'm going to go. Uh, if I hadn't have done t-results, and if I'd just gone up here, because you can't do this without t-results. Um, if I start on the left-hand side, I, I work, I work, I work, I substitute and manipulate, but I've always got one eye, I've always got one eye over here. So I'm looking for where am I going to pull out this one from? Where is it going to come from? I'm going to have to separate the two terms. Alternatively, if I had started on the right, I'm going to work, 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 but I'm going to keep an eye on the left. I know there's going to be a tan in there somewhere. I know there's going to be caught. How am I going to get it? So that's the way I approached it.